What is good guys, this is my third try to record today, so my internet is super ass, I lost like two games to disconnect. We're losing, we're using um, a team at Eclipse and BTB made if I'm not mistaken. So it's like Mega Zam with Recover, it's pretty cool um, to switch in the Heatran. Rocks Clef to get up Rocks with a stall plus Bantar. Tangros plus Clef, so um, I mean this Tangros is HP fire. I guess so you never lose to Kartana because if your Celestia gets knocked off, Kartana can become a problem. But yeah, Tang plus Clef to check Zygarde pretty much as well. And and even Lando. But yeah, we can just rock here expecting him to go for U-turn. Uh, if he goes for SD, I can still... Well, if he's SD knockoff, this is a huge threat. But yeah, he's probably gonna knock off if he has it, but I'm forced into Celestia. Yeah, okay, just pull the punches. And yeah, I have to flamethrower. Yeah, I cannot play around with the plus two scissor. If he has knockoff, it's gonna like almost kill me. But flamethrower is gonna weaken him to the point where I can revenge him easily. So this is completely fine. I just have to flamethrower again because I cannot let him roost. He could go Zapdos here, I guess, but he sucks his scissor cool. And I didn't really need my scissor for much. I guess it would have been good for the superior and for the guard charm, but. Between Lando and Clef, Garchomp is not a big problem. Um, I think I just spam Heavy Slam and a dodge, which is lucky. Well, maybe Flamethrower would have been better. It does like around the same, I think. Yeah, yeah it's, I think it's fine. And now we just go Alakazam here and click Psychic. Now, uh, if he goes Tita, I, has, I have to connect the Focus Blast, but it should be fine. Also, people are sleeping, so I can't be that loud. I hope the audio is fine for you guys. I just haven't I haven't uploaded in so long that I um I'm, I just want to get a video out today, right? It's really frustrating like to keep losing to disconnect. I think I'm only 1550 or something now on this account. This was my 1800s account. I didn't play on it for a few weeks, and the K brought it to 1600s, and then I lost a few games to DC earlier. But this team is overall pretty solid. Uh, but I haven't used it in like th three weeks or something like that, so I don't remember what it's weak to. But yeah, we win our first game um, pretty easily, but nothing crazy because we're on the ladder, so the opponents are not going to be the greatest. Okay, Trick Room um, it's actually kind of annoying the face. So he's going to lead Yuxi Slash. Yeah, I guess he doesn't really lose much from leading with it so no he might lead with Budo pretty Matita but yeah exactly he does do that don't think that's a big big deal um, I think he's gonna double here and do the Yoxi pretty my Celestia so I really wanna just click crunch um, pretty him to double he goes for focus punch okay okay I should stop playing this aggressive but it worked out so I picked up my Celestia I just go to it now. <laughs> I'm insane, I know, but like usually people like to play aggressive and double into you can see there. Um so I could see him going the camera camera up here. I think Leech Sheet is overall my play. He goes crest. Okay, so I can just go Clefable here and get my rocks. So he's gonna go camera up. Probably, um, I don't know what to do versus camera up. This is a big threat. He goes to the left, fine. Camera up is like a bigger threat, so if I was him, I would have gone the camera up. Like, I can only start trick room to, by going Tita on a fire move or by going like land on off power, but it's like hard and risky. Okay, so this forces me to go for flamethrower. He can't Oko me unless he's Z moves as well. <laughs> is he like all out pummeling? I guess he can kill me. Um, so now he's probably just gonna get his yeah rocks exactly and he's gonna trick room again and then he's gonna go for the thing a mento here and we can protect on that oh fuck that's fine though we get the stall at least a little bit of trick room so now my tj is really obvious but i'm gonna go to it anyway and i'm gonna go pivot into landris um i know it's obvious he can predict it if he wants to but the range I'm at on the where I'm at on the ladder, I assume he doesn't want to risk it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And now I have to U-turn because he has a Chris and a and a Yuxi. So U-turn is my play. Wait, 
Because he would have died to rocks. Yeah, I guess I could have earthquake. But I assume he went for a fire move, so I'm just go Tita here and pursue this. I really want to pursue him, yep. And it, now he's dead to rocks. I mean, he can still healing wish. Aluna lands it up. But yeah, that was a really cool play on my part. It worked out. So, Crest is gonna trick room. I mean, he's gonna trick him into Luna Dance, but. I don't think it's a big deal. Wait! Huh? He tried. Why, why did I'm fa why was that? Why was I faster? I didn't pay attention there why I'm faster in the trick room. I really didn't pay attention if it's a speed tie or if I'm missing something, I have no idea. But I think I have to set my Taranta. Because it dies to Bullet Punch, it dies to Aqua Jet anyway, so even outside of Trick Room, it doesn't really do that much. Carol dies to Rocks now, yeah, I don't know why the fuck I was faster, he didn't get his Luna Dance off. I mean, that's fine. Is it fine? Yeah, whenever Trick Room ends, I can revenge him with Clef, I think. Uh, maybe not. This might have been a huge misplay. <laughs> yeah, he probably runs. If he's min speed, my tank is faster, but I don't think he runs min speed. But uh, Clef. If he doesn't run speed for Clef, I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Figured he wouldn't run speed for Clef. I mean, he didn't even try to attack me, so I just assume he didn't run. Doesn't run speed for it. Scissor. I mean, I don't need my Clefable for anything, but I also cannot just go. Like, I don't lose anything from going hard into Celesteela. Staying in, letting him go to plus 6 is not the play. So, that does a lot. If he was there, I would have been gone. But yeah, this guy just forfeits. Um, he could have won that. I didn't play that optimal, but he also missed. Like, he misplayed. Other, I don't know what the fuck was going on with the Cresselia situation. Why I was faster. Yeah, I think we have 1580 if I thought it correct. So let's get at least uh, mid 1600s in this video. Okay, this guy has a weird. Dude, like, I just don't like this range on the ladder. You get like on teams. I can just leave a Scarf Lando here and click U turn. Oh, Edge. Do I have Edge? I don't have Edge. Because hmm. I have uh, Steeler to check. Pincer. I understand why I don't have Edge. I can just go Clef here and get my own rocks. Well, he taunts me, so now I can't. Like, I would have, I was just gonna say, I could have Moonblasted anyway if he rocked, and then next turn he would have taunted me. Like, he would have taunted me anyway, turn 2, if he didn't rock. Why did that Iron Head do 5? I know he's intimidated, but still, that did, like, jack shit. So we Moonblast here on the taunt, just to get, um, some extra leftovers, because obviously he was not gonna let me get rocks up for his Zard there, it makes a lot of sense. So he was just Suicide Lead Arrow. Um, I want to face the heat turn with this team so I can show you guys how the Zem works. I mean, he's probably just going to U-turn into Zard, so I don't know. Yeah, he doubles into Zard. Like, I don't know if I should have made that Celestia play, but what else was I going to do? So now, looking at his team, I have no idea if he's X or Y. But I think Lando is always my play. I have to be careful that I keep my Clef healthy also for the Halucha. Um, I might be able to live. Oh, what the fuck? Belly drum. What? Not mega? Yeah, I don't have edge, so I can't even revenge this. So, I guess I can earthquake, predicting him to be Zardex and mega evolve. Then that worked out really well. <laughs> I mean, if he just. I know that was risky, but if I U turn there, then I have to sack. What? Yep. Yeah, I probably should have U-turned and then sacked something. And then but if he roosted in regular form, I would have been screwed anyway, because then I could not kill him from full. Like, Zam doesn't kill him from full if he roosted. So if I U-turn there on a roost, I'm also screwed. So I was, I was just going off and mega being X. But now he obviously knows that... Oh, Tita has to play. Tita has to play. Miss Cl Why did he belly drum again? He's awful. So that's worked out for me. I thought he would go for roost, and I thought Tita was my play, but... He's awful, so it makes the unplay. And just Shadow Ball here. To just get some chip on in case he wants to go Hunch Crow. Uh, maybe I should have made that. Nah, I don't want to take rocks later. So I want to keep my magic guard. 
Uh, so let's deal with my play here and I can just go for lead sheet. Well, Heavy Slim is free as fuck because his art is at 1% because he belly jumped up twice. Like you guys can see, we're facing un opponents. And I almost got molested by the Zard. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing if he um, roosted on my Lando Earthquake and like destroyed me from there. So now I don't need Celesteela for anything. So I think I just need to sit here on a roost. Yeah. In case he wants to roost. Now I just Heavy Slam. I just spam Heavy Slam and I sack this. I don't think he can kill me because I have a defense boost. Uh, I guess I should do more than flame. Yeah, yeah, it does more. I'm pretty sure. So he can't belly jump up this way. Well, I guess now he can't. Well, like now, he, now he can maybe because this is gonna do nothing after him, I guess. So I uh, really wanna go hard. Now look, cause I'm on a roost or oh, hard Lando here. Yeah, hard Lando's my play actually here. Yeah. So even if he attacks me, I should be able to live one. And if he roosts. And just click U-turn here because I don't want to let the... Well... Hmm. I think Defog is fine. I oh, forget it. <laughs> I'm not messing around with the Zard again. Okay, so this forces me into Clef. Now I have to see if he's a um, Misty Terrain Seed or if he's Sub Thingy. But he's probably Misty Terrain Seed. So this forces me into Landorus. And yeah, I don't know why the fuck you belly drum. This guy is awful. <laughs> Like I, I make some misplays here and there like in these games, I know that. I'm kinda in button clicker mode. But yeah, these guys are just donating you points, which is cool. So it should bring us into 1600s. I don't know, maybe this guy is super low. But like we haven't had any matchups with like Tangros, Seatran. So like Tang and Tang has not even done anything yet. Uh, Banta was able to pursue Trap the Camel last game, which was cool. I'm thinking the reason why this is HPI is obviously so you have insurance, backup insurance versus Zygarde because Clef alone. Sometimes you need Clef healthy if they have like Zygarde plus Lucha or Zygarde plus other physical attacker, so you can't really let Clef take a hit. So I obviously understand why it's HPI, is, but Edge would also be useful in some scenarios. But yeah, we just go Clef and spam Moonblast. He's probably sub citrus or something like that because he didn't get his thing like Oh, he just dies. He didn't go to this first to get the oh, yeah, that acro did nothing because he didn't have his item activated Yeah, I just cycle fable and Then I click like stone edge with my banter or something like that or Psychic with Alakazam. It doesn't matter or Giga Drum with Tangros. <laughs> didn't matter. But yeah, I could have easily lost that to the Zard. That was like risky earthquaking. But yeah. I mean, what are you gonna do there? That was just like kind of. I just feel like I kind of had to make a risky play. Okay, so this guy has a scary team with Medicham. Some double volt switch U turn action, probably. Um, So I think Zam is a good lead in this. He's probably gonna leave with Clefable or Medicham. His M should be fine. Okay, let's leave with Medicham. I don't wanna let this take a fake out, so I'll just go hard land on U turn. But yeah, um, Zem was still fine lead in my opinion. Now we see if he's Helmet or what type of Torn he is. He is Helmet, okay. So I can go Cheetah and pursue this, but if he has superpower, that would be really bad. Um, He's probably max HP, so Pursuit probably doesn't kill him. So what I can do is go Salasteel and click Heavy Slam. But if he knocks me, yeah, this is bad. Tornadus is just one of these monsters super annoying to deal with. He's gonna go Gastron, I guess. Coco. Okay, good damage on Coco is gonna um, be done. So he's probably gonna roost. I really wanna heavy slam here, put it in the roost. Oh my god, I'm bad. <laughs> but we get rid of the Coco early. I don't know why he would t bolt there. His play was either roost or volt switch. Because my play is. Um, My play is, uh, what's it called? My play is either Heavy Slam again or Hard into Tangros. Hard into Tangros is my most likely play. So I'm not sure why he, I guess if he's t bolt Volt Switch, he could have t bolt Volt Switch, but I would have just Hard Volted or Roosted. But yeah, I'm staying in with Celestial that was not the play, because now Tornadoes is going to be a big, big problem. Uh, 
I think he's gonna try to go for Ice Punch here. So I'm gonna attempt to eat that up because I have a defense boost, but I don't eat it. Okay, so that's quite unfortunate. <laughs> we can just go Lando here and... Oh, fuck, he can just go Torn. This was not the play, Clef was the play. But yeah, we're gonna get our rocks up. Calm Mind, he's gonna defog, we're gonna get the rocks back up. The thing is, um, if he's... If he doesn't have a steel move on Megiana, this Clef is gonna be able to put in a lot of work. But he probably has a steel move just from the way he brought this in. So we're gonna just go Tangrowth here. Uh, Calm Mind, okay, that's, that's not good. <laughs> Calm Mind Shift Gear. Yeah, I guess it makes sense, because he has... Gastron to deal with. He has Gastron to deal with the... Don't freeze me. He has Gastron to deal with Greninja. So it makes sense that he can afford to be offensive Megiana. Um, he's just gonna Ice Beam here because it hits everything on my team. I don't think I have a play. I, I just lose to this, right? Um, if he doesn't have Focus Blast, my Tita can take a hit. But I don't think I can go hard into it, like... What? Why did he switch? What? What? I don't understand what's going on. But my Tita, so he probably doesn't have Focus Blast. Okay, that's cool. So he's gonna Ice Punch here. I, I don't have a switch in. Like, this is a bad play, but I'm gonna go hard into Alakazam and get molested. Oh my god, he Jump Kicked. Who doesn't Ice Punch there? Like, Jump Kick is always the play, because it covers the Lando. Welp, I got destroyed there, so I can't say anything. Now we go Clef. Let me just click Moonblast. Uh, he's most likely gonna go Megina. Um, maybe... Yeah, this is fine. I s we get rid of the Medic. That's I take this. Maybe I could have commented there, but it would not have worked out. So I don't think t Hurricane kills us necessarily, but Heart Tita is still the better play. He gets a confusion, which sucks a lot. I'm gonna attempt to pursue this. Please don't hit yourself. I need this. I need this. Um, I don't know if it kills him, but it's gonna do a lot. Oh my fucking god, come on. <laughs> oh well. Now. Just go Tangerus and click Earthquake. I don't know why Shifki was ever the play there. Don't freeze me, my guy. Cool. Like that pursuit would have brought the Torn to below. I killed the Torn. So it definitely sucks. Uh, Tangerus is kind of needed for the Gastron. I can go Clef breathing a U-turn. I know he could Hurricane, but I figured he would just U-turn exactly. Um. So now Clef is coming out. Gonna break them the calm mind and go hard into T Tar. Oh, we live a Moonblast, so now we have to, if we hit an edge. Well he has a gastro, but actually gastro might get to it KO with rocks. So we get damage on Clef. Um which still doesn't help me because Actually this does help me because I can go to this and HP eyes. Well The problem is he oh he's at full, I forgot about re regen and everything. Yeah, this still I don't I can't win this because this Clefable Ward's too much for my team. So you can double into Torn here. Like I know that was super obvious, but... I guess I'll just have to go for CM War. I don't know if that would've killed me, because Helmet Torn usually doesn't run any special attack. But yeah, I can just... I can just Moonblast here. Um, please don't confuse me. Cool. So, if you CM Clef, we're gonna have a CM War. Otherwise, my Clef just wins. I don't think he can kill me with anything. Um, yeah, he just fought his cool. So that was probably not played optimal, but it worked. I, I don't know why he switches Megiana out. Okay, this guy. Usually he uses his Hooper team. But yeah, we just leave Lando always and you turn on the Azelf. And hopefully he just goes for Taunt. Uh, he has a random Clefable on HO, so I guess. That might be mad. A uh, cosmic power clefable, that's what people like to do sometimes. Slap it on. <laughs> I don't know. CM cosmic power. Like it could just be his rock. I see we just see it again. So everything was going fine and now my internet strikes. So I might just end the video here if we don't come back. Just <laughs>
Come on, man. This shit has been happening multiple times already, and like I just kept trying every ten minutes to record, and finally, I could have, I could play a few games without the scene, but yeah. Let me pause it real quick. I don't think we're gonna come back though. Okay, we are here. We are back. Um, still not sure if we're gonna be able to play this out. He's probably just gonna rocks. Scarf Ice Punch Azelf. Okay, buddy. Who's man's? So I can pursue this. Um, I don't know if it's worth it though. I, yeah, like pursuit is my play. Don't freeze. Cool. Um. Ninja or Heatran? Okay, Heatran. Let me can go Zam here. Oh, Z moved me hard. Doom Doom, we eat that. We eat that. Yep. So, I can Mega and recover here. Well, Focus Blast is also a potential play. He just goes Clef. We're gonna Psychic this. And it should do a lot. If you see him, he can beat me 1v1, but don't drop my special attack. Thank you. So now, I could see him going hard Greninja. I could definitely see him going hard Greninja. Uh, but I'm just gonna recover here. It's like a mid ground type of thing. Okay. So he was just gonna psych his Clefable. Cool. I don't get why. That was his play. Don't drop me, dude. Cool. So we can just Shadow Ball here. My Zam is super low though. Um, so this is. Either Shuriken or Sash, because otherwise this play doesn't make any sense. And I don't think he's Scarf, because he already had a Scarf himself. So Tangros should be the play, I assume, U turn or something like that. Spike. So he spiked Ash Ninja there. So I focus blast and I kill him, and he's screwed if I do that. Yeah, I don't get this guy. That made no sense. So we can just Earthquake here. Goes Glalie, completely fine with me. I mean, I don't know if Celestia wants this, but I don't really need Celestia for anything else other than this. So he doubles. Um, I need Protect here. He can Spike again. But if he Spikes again, I can go into my Lando and Defog, unless he's Z-Move Greninja. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> so we can Leech here. Predicting the Heatran, yep. He predicted my what? He predicted my land? I don't know. But yeah, we just okay. Never mind. Yeah, we just double leech sheet. I don't know what the fuck he predicted there. Um, return. I should have heavy. I'm double seeding on the heat train. Yep. Protect. Glaily protect. Please explode on the protect. <laughs> well, it's okay. Tangrels. Okay, so knockoff coming out. We can go Clef here. Good play on his part. Oh yeah, my Zam is getting molested by Hazards. Yeah, Tita is cool to break his tank, but it's not needed. So I go Tita here. And I just click Crunch. Because it's safe. I could also click Super Power. Um, but Crunch is just safe overall. So he goes Tangros. And yeah, if he's not Fist Dev, he's going to get 2 it KO'd. Bob. Cool, I think I have this in the bag. So he goes Gren, just go Tang here, he Dark Pulse is good play, he go Clef, that's Specs damage. You can double the Heatran here, but it's not a big deal. Goes to Glalie, um, what is he gonna do, explode? I wanna softball on Explosion, oh I don't lift that, okay. That's okay though, so I can go Lando here. No, yeah, I can go Lando here and just def. No, Earthquake gets a kill. Yeah, just Earthquake, kill the Heatran. And now he can't lock himself into a move that beats my entire team. I don't think he can because he has to Shuriken to kill me. Oh, right, right, he can. He's. Yeah, that's fine though. Is it. Fuck, I can lose the flinch. No, I just get up sand and he dies to two sand turns. Yeah, yeah, this is over. 
and we eat that so unless he flinches yep okay cool i mean we'll have one anyway but yeah let's get like one or two more as we are 1645 okay well i actually don't know if i want to get another game because because um, my internet <laughs> i don't know if it's gonna come back where's the team oh there it is okay one more please internet okay we get this oh my god i don't want to play this this is whack. It's like Normalium, Cartana, Healing Wish, Chansey, Healing Wish, Megalari, Bandit Scissor. I think Metronome or Z-Move, Metronome or Z-Move on this, yeah. Really, really disgusting. And it's like Static Zapdos, so I cannot spam U-Turn in this game. But yeah, what I do here is just get my rocks. And he's probably gonna try to para me turn one, because that's how this guy works. Um, yeah, Double Healing Wish is just super annoying, because he can like... Weaken checks to like Lily and Cardin and healing wish them back. Like my Celestia is gonna get overwhelmed in this game. But yeah, thankfully I have HP Fire Tang, which is gonna be cool for card potentially. So he's most likely gonna U-turn here, right? I really wanna predict him the U-turn. Yeah, I'm just gonna predict him the U-turn because my Celestia is way too obvious. And he goes hard into Ladi. Um so this is he's default. I know that he's default. Well, that's fine. I'll just kill him. That's one healing wish user gone, so I, that's fine with me. Like, he basically did no damage to my team, and I killed one of his mons, so we take that. So he goes Kartana. Um, this is the Normalium Z bullshit. I think Celestia can beat this, though. So we just click Flamethrower. Well, I want to protect here. Okay, never mind. He, he knows that Normalium doesn't do that much. So he's Helmet Static and a uh, really disgusting set. I think Tango is my play here. Goes Kartana. Uh, free HP Fire here because he might not scout for it. Yup, yup, this guy is gonna forfeit. Watch. <laughs> yup, yo, how did I know? 